Slay, slay, slay. Slay, slay, slay. Watch with us, maybe. Welcome back. Welcome back. To our show, Watch With Us Maybe. Maybe. Where we talk about shit or we fucking don't. Or we don't. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Go <laughs> to bed. Said. Catch you later. See you it's later. nine. It's like nine twenty-three ish. News o'clock. Bye. Bye. Okay. This well, was a short one. This was short. Subscribe, Subscribe if you love us. If you don't, we understand. <laughs> We watched episode seven, the penultimate. Of what, Julie? Of fucking what? They might not even know. Stranger Things. We did. Season three. Season three. What do you think, Melissa? Give me the summary. Give me the summary. Give me the summary. What do I, what did I think? Or would you like the summary No, instead? the summary. It's either one or the No, other. it's not. I want the summary first. <laughs> okay, so we just watched episode seven. I don't know if that was mentioned before. It wasn't. Yeah. No, it was. It, I know it was. <laughs> so the big blob thing came to um, Elle's house because she was seen by the Flayer. Slayer. We all call him the Slayer. Everybody wants to call him the Slayer. But for... The Slayer. Exactly. And so they're about to... They're, like, freaking out low-key. And then they walk outside. They see the big thing. And they go inside. And it seems like they're doing a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like the flare is, like, walking probably in slow motion. Like, you could probably listen to a couple good jams. <laughs> I did feel like they had a lot of time to, like, board up the house. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is a lot of time. Is he, like, doing, like, I literally said to Julie, is he, like, doing, like, a really fucking slow walk? Like, I don't know. What's going on? There are a number of drivers in the car, if you know what I mean. Like, did he get drugged like Robin and Steve? Like, oh, Robin and Steve. So... When this happens, basically, Elle fucks shit up, and also she gets fucked up because it grabs onto her leg. Mm -hmm. So they end up at this drugstore, and they break in, and they are attending her wound. They get a call on the radio. It's Dustin. Yay! Because they fucking survived the... Wherever they were in the... What is it called? Star Core? Star Court. Star Court Mall. And so now there he finally has access and they snuck into sorry, a lot of plot lines. I know right now. There's a lot going on in this episode. They snuck into like into the movie theater so they yeah. could yeah. And it was back to the future. Yeah, it was. That was great. And they he snuck away because Erica's watching Steve and Robin and got a hold of Mike. They're breaking out because he has low battery. But they, he knows that he's at the movies is what's communicated, basically. They don't know really where. So then they leave. The group leaves from the drugstore after attending Elle's wound. But then you see as they leave, like, her blood is almost like scooey, like the flare thing. Yeah. And then you have Billy come up and, like, smell the blood. But I, I was unsure of what it was going to be for Elle because I felt like it was an in-between. Like, why is he smelling the blood if it's one of him? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why is he curious about that? Like, if you know, you know. Hmm. And if you don't, you don't. So, um, it's not his fucking blood. So then, so they are on their way back to the festival because that's where the kids are supposed to be. And basically, all the Russian people are there, like, because the mayor's running it. The mayor's involved. Um, the the main Russian killer sniper guy. I feel like he'd be like the Russian sniper if he was in a... I feel like he's just a sniper. He's just always with a gun. He looks very... He looks like the Terminator to me. I can see that too. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator. I can see that. He just, I feel like he always walks in straight lines. He just lines. slow walks. But I feel like he and walks he in straight lines. He can't, he, he, he can't do like a little like half circle. It's like... Pfft, yeah, he's got to turn at right angles. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like Zoolander. He can't turn left. <laughs> so, um. I really cracked myself up with that one. That was good. Thank you. Alexi's like, I want to be an American and I want to have fun. And then. Yeah. I'm going to just call him Tom. I already did it. Murray, Tom, was like, you don't need to be an American to have fun. So Alexi went like a, a cute little stuffed animal. Are you trying to cover up your footsteps? What footsteps? <laughs> what footsteps? What are you talking about? <laughs> Where was I? 
footstep. <laughs> Covering my footstep. <laughs> I don't know where the, where are they going? Who? Hopper, Alexi, because they just hop in the car. I think they're just getting away. They're, they're like getting away. Murdered. They have the radio from they killed one of the Russian spy people. Yes. Or Hopper did. Hopper did. Dustin and Robin in the movie theater, they snuck away from Erica and Dustin. And they they're did. in the bathroom. And they're puking their eyes out because... Their eyes out? Their eyes out. They're puking their eyes out. Literally. It's so gross. But, um, no. <laughs> Basically, Steve confesses that he has a crush on... Robin. Robinito. And... Yeah, he does. Robin basically confesses that she um, was obsessed with him in high school because the girl she had a crush on yeah. was obsessed with him. Yeah. And it was a really great scene because Steve took it really fucking well. Yeah. It was really cute. They ended up laughing. It was a, And they, they ended on a good note. So they're yeah. definitely friends. So that was a really great scene on that. But I could tell, like, Robin's like, I like you, but not like that. I know. Which I kind of, like, I know you knew about the... I knew that I had heard on a podcast that someone on this season was a lesbian. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know who it was, but I had my suspicion that it was her. Yeah, that would make sense. What other girls on here? Max! Right. Yeah, I was Why like, would we care? But also, Max is dating Lucas. I'm cheating on him with Elle. <laughs> Erica and... Erica from America. Yep. And Dustin. Find them. Dustin's face when he finds them is great. I love Dustin. He's my favorite character. He's like being such a dad in this episode. I know. And so they're trying to get out of the theater and they're like, we got it. Like, we're almost out. And they realize these Russian people are like checking people. Yeah. And like, oh shit. And one of them spots them. And so they all run and they're talking on the radio, which Hopper has. And luckily, Tom knows how to speak Russian. So now they know where the kids are, actually. So yeah. that's probably where they're going to be going. And so they're hiding in, like, the beverage popcorn station. And you think they're about to die. And then the car moves and smashes them, and they die. And Elle and the crew But not the kids, there. like the bad Russians. The bad are. Russians. The kids are alive. With the sound of music. With the sound of music. And then... Yes. The episode ends. There's one more thing. So they're all alive and they're all well. Oh, and then no. L. No, they're not all well. They're not all well. Not yet. Elle is having like her pain in her leg. Mm -hmm. And she like goes off and then they do her leg and her leg is like bulging and it looks like something is wrong with it. Like it looks like she, it, it. I think her leg is breaking from what it's perceived. Like she's an agony was that how you took it i took it like her leg was breaking that's not how i took it would you take it i took it there was like a creature inside of her leg oh i wasn't sure because usually before they broke it was like they were like that slime thing Ugh. and they broke all their bones to become that slime thing so that's where it ended Elle is not well mike didn't tell Elle he Aww. loved her yet he didn't what did you think of the episode i thought it was great i'd give it a nine a nine. What would you give it? A nine. <laughs> you sounded so surprised when I said I'd give it a nine. I don't know. I was like, maybe she'll say something different. No. No. Anyway, yeah, I'd give it a nine. I thought it was really good. Or are I you covering up your footsteps? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I really loved the stuff with Steven and Robin. I thought Steve it was on. really well played out. Also, they were so funny in this episode. Both those actors played that They did so good. Well. They did great. Um, it was really, really well done. And I thought, I thought the whole episode was just really good. I love Alexi. I was so sad to see him get murdered. That was sad. That really broke my heart a little bit. I know. I really enjoyed his character. Yeah. And I love when, I love when Steve and Robin are watching Back to the Future and they're like, do, do you know what's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> like, they're just sitting there eating gross <laughs> trash the popcorn. Tra I thought that was kind of smart, though, of Steven to pick up the trash to look, blend in. As much as you can. I like, think he was just one. hungry. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know he was, like, high as fuck hungry. Yeah. But at the same time, like, that was a pretty smart move to do. I don't know if he was doing in. it because he thought he would be smart. I, d I know he wasn't. Oh, Still yeah. a smart move. Mm. Smart high move he made. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was just a great, a great episode. It was a really good episode. A lot of growth for Steve. Definitely. He's definitely a... 
a manly man now. Well, he's like growing, you know? Mm-hmm. Definitely. That's nice. What did you think of the episode? <laughs> I really enjoyed it. No. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie, for uncovering my footsteps. So I thought <laughs> it was a great episode. I think my favorite part of the episode was definitely Steve and Robin on the bathroom floor after they peeked their eyes out. That was a really good heart to heart. Steve did. Do you mean puking gl- their guts out? Eyes out. Okay. You're so angry. <laughs> what else do you have to say? What do you think is going to happen in the last episode? Okay, so now definitely Mike has to tell Eleven he loves her. It has to happen. Or she'll disappear and then he'll be like, Eleven, I love you. I love you. Yeah, so. She already disappeared, though, in one episode. So, like, it'd be weird if she disappeared again. Yeah. Remember the first season? She, like, just. Oh, yeah. Poop. What was it? Poop. Poop. Um, so. Do I, I love think it's you. gonna happen? And then she just never comes back. I think they're gonna close the gate. They're gonna kill the mind. Are they gonna close the gate with Eleven in? No. I know you say it's sad, but, like. Maybe. Do you listen to another podcast? No. No, not about that. After Reddit? that one thing, I was like, uh, but no, stop. <laughs> My point is that, like, I know you said. Are you sharing something? Are you, are you withholding any information, like, you, about the lesbian thing? I'm going to kill you. So in the last episode, I think that they're going to defeat the Mind Flayer. They're going to, I don't know if all those people are going to be gone or not. I think they are. I think they're going to die. All the people who got eaten by the Mind Flayer. And... I think Hopper and Joyce will get together, and Mike will tell Elle he loves her. So encouraging. And then I think Max and Lucas will get back together. I'm hoping we see Dustin's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. They haven't fulfilled that yet. They have not. And maybe she's the side of the Russians. You said that, like, the first episode, and I was just like, maybe. (laughs) I don't know. I guess that's it. I'm really excited to see what happens. And then we have to wait another year before the next season. There's going to be another season? I'm sure there will be. This this show's a cash cow. What if they kill Eleven? I won't. And she's gone forever. Nope. Even if they did it, they'd bring her back like they did in seasons one and two. That's true. Okay, we're going to go. It's past her bedtime. Thank you for letting me touch your skirt the whole time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us on, on this the, episode of Watch the Reading this movie. Hour. The Reading with Hour. Julie and Melissa. Julie and Melissa. And we'll be back with uh, maybe the final episode. Maybe. <laughs>